So today we're going to be doing the fender flares. Um, after being asked for so long, um, this will be using the foam and fiberglass method. And I'm basically going to take this side and copy it over to this side. Um, and I'll show you how to do it on this side. So the first thing you're going to want to do is map out where you want the fender flares. So now that we have the cart taped off, we can kind of give a base for where the foam is going to sit. Um, I would recommend using the blue tape. Uh, the foam sticks really well to it. Uh, and afterwards you can peel it off quite easily. Uh, but before we do that, we do need to cover the wheels. Um, so I'm going to be using basically one of these plastics. I'm going to trim it down a little bit and then we're going to put it inside the wheel well so none of the foam sticks on the wheel. So I got the pieces cut up. Basically, I'm just going to want to fit this inside between the fender and the wheel. And that also gives the foam a base to build upon. And none of the foam is going to get on the wheel, and none of the foam is going to get on the fender because the tape is there. And then don't worry if this sticks out too much. Um, after the foam is built up, we can go back and trim it down a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing to the back side. the foam on. We're going to need about three to four bottles of this foam. Uh, we want to make sure it's the big gap filler. So what you're going to want to do is basically spray a zigzag pattern uh, of the foam on the tape and that's going to create a nice and even finish that we can work on off of later. Uh, so usually it sprays best when it's upside down. Basically going to do this along the whole part that's taped off. And then after that's done, we're going to do the same thing on this plastic piece. All right, so we have the first layer done. Um, and if you have any drips like this, let it dry first. It's a lot easier to clean up when it's dry than when it's still wet. Um, but basically, the first layer is on there. We're gonna wait about 15 to 20 minutes for it to dry. And then we're gonna put the second layer on there. So it's been about 15 minutes and it's already pretty dry. So we're gonna go ahead and add that second layer. Done with the second layer. The front is looking pretty good. Uh, the back, I'm still gonna need to add more. All right, so the foam is all dried up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and begin sanding it down a little bit and uh, I'm going to be using an angle grinder basically with a sandpaper head and start trimming it down to where I want it more. So now I'm gonna clean it up a bit. I'm gonna add some more foam um, right there. Some more foam, foam right here. Gotta bring this out a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm gonna fix up the back a little bit as well. All right, 
So I got the foam sprayed on. So in the back here, I uh, kind of took a little shortcut. Uh, so instead of using foam, you basically just get tape from one point to the other. Uh, and then you just lay the fiberglass on top. So a lot of people use this method as well. So if you don't like the foam method, you can just use the tape method. It's all taped up. Then I finish it off with one more layer of this plumbing tape, uh, and then it's ready for fiberglass. So I got the rears all taped up, still have to do the fronts, but I'm going to end the video right here. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be doing the fiberglass.